Hello YouTube, greetings and salutations, it's Sai here from Saimoto Photo, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got my hands on this guy, a Speed Twin 1200, I've been looking forward to getting this guy out actually. I had We had one at the shop last year, but we've not had one at the shop for pretty much about 7-8 months, so I've not had a, a good chance to get a, a proper ride on this and get it out for a review, so come on out, we'll get it out in the road, we'll see what it's all about and I'll feed back to you what my thoughts are on this bike, so come on, let's throw a leg over it and let's go. Right man, the Triumph Speed Twin, and as always, before I give you my thoughts on this bike, I've been riding it for some time this morning, I've been out on it for, for maybe an hour or so, just, just getting a good feel for what the bike's all about, so, I have to tell you right, I've ridden Bonnevilles, and I've ridden Bobbles, and I've ridden, I've, I've ridden most of the Bonneville range, with the exception of a few, a couple, three, um, that I've not ridden, they are all very, very different bikes to ride, and this is no exception. The Speed Twin, I actually, I cards on the table, I rode it a few couple of years back. We had a demonstrator that, that we had in the shop, a red one, and I'd done a few miles on that bike and I really, really enjoyed it. But I never reviewed it, I never done a video on it, so um, I thought it was about time that I gave you my thoughts. And, you know, how I felt the, the Speed Twin fit, fitted within the, the Triumph range. And immediately, just when you're sitting on the bike, right, I just lo I love the, the, the clocks. The clocks on the bike look like a Swiss watch. They're just, it's like an Omega watch in front of you. They look so, so well, so well designed. And they're, they're really high quality looking. Aluminium surround around the clocks and the twin clocks with it, the, you know, they've got quite a, quite a kind of design facet on them. They look fantastic. Then they really suit the bike. And the bike's got the bike's got a nice wet, uh, wide set of bars. You're slightly canted forward on the bike, and your feet are, are slightly back, almost like you would have a set of rear sets on a on a sports bike. And not quite like that, but but they are they're, they're, they're a lot further back than the likes of say a Bonneville. You feel as if you're sitting. You, you want to sit with your toes on the peg as opposed to you know just sitting with the balls of your feet on the pegs. The seat isn't, the seat's quite hard on the bike. I wouldn't like to do a long trip on this one, not without changing the seat out anyway, but it's, you know, it's definitely a kind of, I don't know, 50, 60 mil seat, and then you want to get off and sort of stretch your legs and give your, your backside a rest. But the handling is absolutely sublime on this bike. It's got a really sort of a uh, steep rake angle on it, which makes it turn in really quickly. Um, you know, for roads like this, it's just a dream, and that punchy top delivery on the the 1200 engine. You've got 97 brake horsepower in this engine, and you've got 112 newton meters of torque, and it's so buttery smooth and lovely. I've got the bike. I've, I was riding the bike in road mode earlier on, and I've stuck it into sport mode, and it and it really it really drives you a corner. The throttle response is a little bit twitchy low down. But I'm sure it's something you could dial out with some adjusters for the, the, the throttle. But it's it's a dream to ride. It just the pickups almost instantly from the bottom end. It just grabs a hold of you and propels you forward. And then it's on, I mean it's not it's not cutting edge sports bike sharp in the corners, but it's not far off it. And it's so different. From a Bonneville, it's 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 actually really really exciting to ride, and the noise that comes off of that engine. If you've never had the pleasure of sitting on a, a parallel twin Triumph and listening to its soundtrack as you as you're motoring along the, the the road, go go out and get a shot of one, get a test ride in one, pop down to the shop, ask me, I'll give you one. It's just amazing the sound of it. It actually grabs the strings of your soul. It's amazing. It just turn right in, just falls into the corner. Boof. Straight in. Absolutely amazing. The tank, the profile of the tank's really narrow with this parallel twin engine. I always find that with the, with the parallel twins. It's a really narrow bike. 
between your legs, which makes it really easy to, to throw about, flick about. You know, you, you, you can really grip onto it with your knees, grip onto the other side of the tank, and, you know, filling it into a corner is effortless. And the bike just, it, 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 it feels as if whatever direction you want to go in, just look that way, and the bike will just fold into the corner. You've got a couple, of, you've got three different modes in the bike. You've got rain, road, and sport. And I think the rain mode would be quite good with such a torquey engine. I think the rain mode would be quite good just to, to, to you know, to stop you from from spinning that back wheel up. Although it has got traction control and stuff like that, but you know what I mean. It's just it just saves you getting a wee fright when, when it kicks out. Right, so there we go. The speed twenty twelve hundred braking power is really fantastic on it. It's got some really great modulation through the lever as well, and topped off with these bar end mirrors and the end of the handlebars. It's just a really nice, clean looking front end on the bike. When you're sitting in there, it's a nice place to be when you're looking forward from the cockpit. It's got a gorgeous little speed twin badge on the the handlebar clamp as well. Just it just oozes quality, and those clocks. I mean, honest to God, they look, it's like an Omega watch. Just the the quality and the detail within those double tackles and the and the and the head unit are gorgeous. And you've got this little sort of uh, machined aluminium surround round the clocks as well. It looks fantastic. You've got a set of LED headlamp, uh, sort of daytime running light uh, indicators, rear light and rear indicators as well. You've got that 1200 uh, cc parallel twin engine. Now that's pumping out. I think it's 98.6 horsepower. It's about 99 horsepower and 112 newton meters of torque. And that 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 that, that sort of peak torque comes in about 4,200 revs per minute. So it's really sort of down low in the rev range. Um, you can feel that sort of low-end grunt and mid-range push. It's fantastic to ride. It really does make it really good fun to ride on the roads. It, it means business with the tyres that they've put on it. You've got 17-inch wheels front and rear, and the front and rear tyres are Metzler uh, Racetech RR tyres. In the dry, these tyres are super, super sticky. You know, when you're getting a bit of a pace on, they'll sort of really heat up and, and just turn into glue almost on the road. They're fantastic. But I'd imagine if you're going to be doing all year round riding in this bike, you'd maybe want to invest in a set of Pilot Road 6s or something. Something that's just going to give you a little bit more wet weather grip. But for a, a you know, a, a summer day tyre and for a Sunday run blast, what a fantastic bit of rubber to put in your bike, superb. The bike's got Marzocchi upside down forks on the bike. They're not adjustable, but they are well set up and well damped. And in the back, you've got a set of uh, twin shocks on the back. These could maybe be something that you could potentially upgrade. They are, they are okay, they're fine for the bike, but I think you could get a lot more out the back end of the bike by upgrading your shocks a wee bit. I think one of the big things in the bike is the fact that the bike's got 10,000 mile service intervals. The 10,000 mile service intervals just make it, you know, if you're going to be doing a lot of miles on the bike, it just keeps that cost down a wee bit for you for your maintenance. And the valve service intervals in the bike's every 20,000 mile. So, really good service intervals on the bike. There's a little immobiliser and, uh, built into the key, but you've also got an under seat USB charging point as well. You can re relocate these, you can get them fitted up at the headstock if you want. But um, there's one in there if you, if you need it. And you've also, which I really like the detail on the, the, the sort of Monza fuel cap that's on the top, which means that uh, whenever you're fueling your bike up and you've got it in a side stand, you can actually neck it right up to the top because of the location of that fuel, ta uh, that fuel cap. Superb. So you've got ride by wire throttle and you've also got three riding modes built into the bike. You've got rain, road and sport. And they do make quite a bit of difference, actually. I was, I've been riding it on sport today and the throttle is a little bit twitchy at the bottom end. If you put it in the road, it kind of dials that out a bit for you. But if you want to use it in sport, you can get spacers for your throttle that would sort of sort that out a bit for you as well. Um, but you've, you've also got traction control built into the bike as well. It's not got huge amounts of technology on it, but what it has got is there to help you out and just keep you that wee bit more safe on the road. You get four colours on the bike, right? You get uh, you get carnival red and a matte grey. You get this ironstone in a matte grey. You get a jet black colour as well. That's a standard colour. But you all, they also do the bike in a stealth colour for this year. And if you've not seen the stealth edition, it's absolutely phenomenal looking with this. It's got a kind of blended paint finish. It goes from a black to a, a real sort of deep red colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the badge is the standard Triumph writing on the side of it. It looks really, really cool. There is a bit of a premium for that bike. But do you know what? It's, it, it, it's a pretty special looking colour. 
One thing about these Bonneville models is they're all hand painted at, at Hinkley and the painters uh, put, either put their initial or their signature just at the bottom of the tank so you can see who's actually painted it. A really cool feature, I think. Um, and it makes these bikes, you know, really sort of uh, personalised, in my opinion, especially when you look at the Stealth Edition models. We've got three or four of them in the shop just now and you can see on each of them there's a different part. A di the, the blend of the paint starts at a different point which just shows you that they're all individually painted. So, absolutely epic, man. So the rake in the bike is quite steep, it's 22.3 degrees, so the, 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 the wheel's really right underneath the bike, which is great for your turning and agility, it's fantastic. But I think if you were going to be doing a lot of miles on the bike, you know, there's, there, there's better options there. But if you want a Sunday Blast, something that's going to be really agile and cool to handle, this has got it in bucket loads. You've also got a 14.5 litre fuel tank, and I reckon you're probably getting 55 mil to the gallon out of the bike. So you'll get a good, you, you'll get a good dollar per miles out of a tank of fuel, so fantastic. You know, the bike definitely feels quite nosy. You can feel the back end of it's lifted, you know, a bit higher up. And when you're leaning over the bars, you feel as if that front wheel is pretty much right underneath you. Your, your, your chin's almost right over the handlebar clamp. So you can imagine, as, you know, from a turning point of view, that's what it's getting its agility from. It's just, you know, it's got quite a short wheelbase, this bike. And that all adds to its dynamic of how it handles. You know, I, I dare say, you know, if you were going like long motorway runs, this bike might get a little bit twitchy. But, you know, if your purpose is to buy a bike, to go out on a Sunday blast, out with friends and just go to your local run, you know, just up to get a cafe or, uh, you know, your local bike meet or something like that, this is, this is unbeatable. It's, it's just so exciting. Listen to the engine note. It sounds like the devil's been poked in the backside with a big jaggy stick. It sounds amazing. From really low down, so let's just get the bike down. Low down in the rev range. Let's see, we'll get down to 2,000 revs here. And we're in second gear, right? So 2,000 revs, open the, open the throttle. It's just the way. It's just instant, and honestly, it's instant grunt. And side to side is it, it, it's just, it's so effortless to move the bike from side to side. We could have, if you were an owner of this bike, this would be a real joy to own. It just, it, 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 would, it would put a smile on your face every time you go out on it. You know, and because it's naked, right, you ain't going to be doing like 130 miles an hour on the thing. So, you know, although it's fast and exciting, it, it, you know, it'll still keep it sensible. But you know you're not going out there and risking losing your licence. You know, it's just a... It's just quite a sensible option for the road. I love the bar end mirrors on it. The bar end mirrors give you plenty of view behind you. And they're not vibey. They're just they're perfect on the bike. It could be doing my set of heated grips, but I always say that about bikes here in Scotland. We've always got blooming cold mornings and... Uh, until it's the real height of summer, but it could be doing with a set of heat to grip. Well, I've got this Morrison's van in front of me. I just want to put a massive thanks to West Coast Triumph for letting me sort of take these bikes out, show them on the channel and let you guys see what they're all about. But also, I just want to put a massive thanks to everyone that subscribed to the channel. We're up at three and a half thousand subscribers, and it blows my mind that, that that many people are wanting to subscribe to the channel and see what content's coming next. Thank you so much. I really mean it. I was at the bike show last week, and the amount of people that came up and said hello was just incredible. So if I spoke to you at the bike show, thanks a lot for popping over. It was great to see you. Uh, and for everyone that's bought me a coffee or, or contributed to uh, a litre of fuel or whatever, uh, using the link down below, thanks so much for that. It's, I'm really humbled by the amount of people that have done that. You don't need to do that. I've, I've put that there because people have asked for it. If you want it, feel free. If you don't, it's absolutely fine. What really makes a big difference is you is sort of uh, interacting with the video commenting it, liking it, and if, you, if I've earned your subscription and you like the content and you'd like to see more content, please consider subscribing to the channel because um, it makes a big difference and it helps the channel get out to more people, but thanks a lot everybody, it's, it's really, really appreciated. As I say, this is very different from all the other Bonnevilles that I've ridden, and I've ridden lots of them, but I've not ridden a Speedmaster and I'm really keen to get a Speedmaster out and let you see what that's all about and give you my thoughts on that. So. 
the good news is I've got my hands in one and I've got it for, for next week's uh, video so if you if you want to see that subscribe to the channel don't, and be sure not to miss that because I'm looking forward to getting the Speedmaster out that's become a really popular bike at the shop and I want to see what the fuss is all about with that bike but anyway back to the Speedmaster amazing bike to ride so different from the Bonneville but such good fun such good fun to ride I think the biggest surprise for me today is how it handles I didn't expect this I hadn't really, the one the, when I rode it the last time I don't I don't remember riding it on roads like this I think I just rode it home a few times but this one is, I, I can't go over how agile it is it's so flickable man see, see I tell you who would love this bike right see if you've got a sports bike background or you love performance bikes right but you really like the look of a modern classic this is right up your street because this feels every bit a modern bike when you ride it but it's got that classic charm about it and I'd, I'd imagine that wherever you go with this people will want to talk to you about it people will want to ask you about it you know it feels like a special motorcycle it makes you feel special when you're riding it it, it really is a gem this bike it's a beautiful beautiful machine the finish on it's impeccable as well typical Triumph finish love the little speed twin embossed here in your handlebar clamp and look at this it's just I can't, I can't go over how I can't go over how agile it is honestly this is a modern classic for someone that appreciates performance and handling that's exactly what this is what a joy to ride seriously what a joy to ride speed twin 1200 bring it on fantastic love it what a bike well there we go man the triumph speed twin 1200 that was a blast i loved that i loved it to ride great performance really fantastic handling quite comfortable i wouldn't want to sit in the seat for hours at a time but you know it's, it's plenty comfortable enough for going for a wee blast on the bike really really nice bike to ride if you're considering getting one of these man go for it honestly it's a fantastic bike to ride and if you want a shorter one we've got this one down at the shop if you want to pop in and, and see me and they're more than welcome to take it out but listen thanks again if you've got to this point and you've hanged fire all the way through the video thanks very much thanks everyone that subscribed to the channel please if haven't if you've enjoyed this video and i've earned your subscription please subs consider subscribing to the channel it makes a big difference and if you like and comment in the video it just helps the video out no end and sends out to more people you know the but please if you if you would it would be fantastic and if anybody wants to buy me a coffee or contribute to some fuel in the bike you can do so using the link in the description but listen thanks again for tuning into the channel it was a pleasure riding along with you guys today i look forward to seeing you in the next review we've got a speedmaster possibly coming next so subscribe to the channel and don't be, and be sure not to miss that one thanks again everyone have a fantastic week and i'll see you in the next video take it easy man